Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you. And if we have, you know, it's always good to see you again. I'm here today with Timu Hall number 13. Wow, I can't even believe I'm on number 13 already. And I'm running out of options to use to rhyme with my hall numbers. So I have to start thinking about 14 next because I don't know why I started it. But now I got to keep it going. I feel the need to keep it going. But how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. It is uh, Saturday night and it is sweltering out here uh, where I live in suburbia. And I have to turn off all of my fans so that you guys don't hear the hum in the background, which takes away from my video. Whew. So if you see me, where's my little fan? I got so much handy right here. If you see me doing this every now and then, that's why, because that means I got one, two, three, four, five lights lit up and they all draw heat. So I'm gonna try and get through this haul very quickly. And because it is so hot, summer has definitely arrived. I ordered a bunch of accessories in the way of sunglasses and I have a lot of jewelry. In fact, the majority of this bag right here, these are mostly sunglasses. So we're gonna play with those today and see what they look like. And then this little bag is one of many, but this has several pieces of jewelry in it, a lot. And um, hopefully we can get through that as well, but let's go ahead and jump into this video. Um, I'm trying to think, have I said, oh, I just put out a video um, regarding Gona Jewelry. I did a collaboration with them and go ahead and check that video out. They've got some great jewelry pieces, that's fine jewelry, not uh, a lot of the costume or play jewelry that we're getting from Timu, even though Timu jewelry is fun. But if you want to see the real deal at affordable prices, go ahead and check out that video. It's you, you won't regret it. Just check that video out and let's get the views up on that. And maybe we can do another video with them. They'll send me some more pieces to share with you guys. But back to this video, let's jump into the sunglasses. We're gonna see what I got, how much I paid. I really got great prices for a lot of these, which is why I ordered so many. And we're gonna see how they look on me in case you guys have been checking some of these things out and wondering if it's something that you would be interested in. So here's the first package. Here's the first package. Here's the first pair. And let's see what it looks like. Now I hope, I hope that I did not duplicate any of these sunglasses because you know, when I'm on, when I'm ordering from Timu and I just throw stuff in my cart, <laughs> I have so much stuff in my cart, but I do that because there are multiple sellers and they have different prices. So if I come across another pair, <clears throat> excuse me, if I come across a pair that I believe is the same pair that I have, but I can't remember the price, I'll throw them all in there. And then when I go into the cart, I narrow them down. But because I have so much stuff in that cart, I um, might miss it here and there. So this is what these glasses look like. This is the first pair. Now, mind you, I'm drawn to black glasses. So the majority of these will probably be black, but let's see how this first one looks, this first pair. And let me just show you what uh, distinctive about this pair is they have the three dots on the side and do they have them on the front as well? Nope, nothing on the front, just plain black but I like the shape of them. I like how big they are. I like how they are semi cat eye. And uh, ooh, I always almost drop something, wow. Okay, so the three dots on the side, and that's pretty much it. Just a nice, sleek pair of black glasses. So this is what they look like on me. And again, I'm always going to like majority a pair of black glasses. And I like these as well, except for right now, it's so dark because they are really dark. So from what I'm seeing, I like them. So you guys let me know what you think. This is the first pair. There's the three dots on the side. Okay, so that is pair number one. And I got my cleaning cloth here in case any of them are dirty. And uh, by the way, this one came in a Ziploc bag inside of this bubble bag inside of this other Ziploc bag. 
<clears throat> so no box and no case for this one. And the price, as you know, and you've already seen, is on the screen. So let's just put this back. Actually, you know what? When we do the recap, I need to leave them out, don't I? Okay, it is so hot. It's like I'm losing my train of thought because I'm like, I know I'm going to be burning up shortly. But let me, let me just put those there. Okay, here's the next pair. And I'm not pulling them out in any particular order. But there are a lot. So I'm going to try to move through this quicker than I normally would. Um, so this one comes packaged the same way. And uh, there's the first bag, second bag, third bag. Okay, this pair looks like this. Woo! I'm pausing for a minute because I'm looking to see, is this really mirror? And what you're seeing in front of you is my laptop. Look at how well, I mean, my iMac playing my jewelry video, actually. Um, and then you see Janae's stuff that's in front of me. So this is truly... A mirror. This is my picture that's on the wall in my office. Can you see that? <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let me clean it off just a little and I'll put these on and let's see what these look like. And they have nothing on the side. I'm going to show you that in a hot second. Just want to make sure I clean the lenses off pretty good. I don't like putting on a pair of glasses that has a big smudge uh, across the front of it. That just is a pet peeve of mine. Okay, so this is what they look like on the side. Nothing to scream home about, but I like the skinnier sides because I can see through my peripheral vision. This is how thin they are um, compared to these. They're a little thicker. This is the first pair, so they had a little more thickness. These are nice and thin, which I like. Now let's go ahead and put them on. Ooh, I like these. This will work. Let me see something. Oh, that doesn't help. They're dark. They are dark. I like them though. Strike a pose. Okay, that's enough of that. That's number two. I'm gonna keep them in order. All right, pair number three. It looks like this. And this is in a Ziploc bag. This pair must have been probably pretty cheap because I don't normally <laughs> go for this style. I, I don't really have any glasses that are this style. When I say this style, I mean this shape. I normally like the square, you know, the sleek, clean lines. I don't normally go for the circular stuff. It's not my thing. So for me to have got, gotten these, it's because they were brown, and they were cheap. <laughs> so I guess the price will tell the story, but this is what the side looks like. And those are little roses or flowers. I don't know why it's so dark right here today. All right, so this is what these look like. It's so dark, I can hardly see what I look like myself, but they kind of look like bug eyes, big round ones, so. You guys like these let me know this is number three i do like the brown but again i'm not crazy about round anything round shaped stuff i'm more like this clean lines straight you know that type of thing but you know they aren't bad this is what they look like closed up they do have that little decoration on it so that's a little something all right next pair comes in a bag See what's in this one. Comes in bubble wrap. Comes in another bag. Oh, now this, these are different. So let's see, let me clean these off and see what these look like. These must have been cheap too, because I don't normally buy colored frames. I'm normally just black. But I figure at these prices, I, you know, just buy something a little different than what I normally would get, especially if this is stuff that I would get, that I would pay more for at the Dollar Tree. Okay, now these, I kind of like them. 
like them actually. The square is helping, but I feel like it's a little crooked. <laughs> so what do you think about this? This is pair number four. I could do these, I could wear these. It's the shape that's making me like them. It's the thin lines on the side. Um, but yeah, so there's number four. I could do number four, totally. Okay. Let me make sure I get some, <laughs> some thumbnail opportunities. Okay, so number five, let's see what we got next. And hopefully this is helping some of you guys because I know they have so many sunglasses up there all the time and I never know which one to pick, which one is gonna look right. So I was like, let me just go ahead and grab some. So here's the first bag, here's the bubble wrap. Here is the second bag. Here are the glasses. Now this is kind of like a sleek little cat eye. Now let me clean it off first. I like this one. See, this is what I mean when I say clean lines. They, they do have a shape to them, but the shape is, what is that telling me? My watch is telling me new move record so i guess i'm doing a lot of movement so i just set a new move record on my watch okay so you see how they're straight they're not circular but they're still shapes but it's mostly with straight lines these are the ones i'm drawn to and these i like the look of them again it's a, sk a skinny side so i can drive with these use my peripheral vision comfortably they're pretty thin not too thick Ooh, now I like these. I like the shape of these. They are similar to number one. Let me just show you the difference. Very subtle, but these are a little thicker. But yeah, these I like. I mean, I've liked quite a few of them, but I like these. So far, these are my favorites. And it's that sleek cat eye shape. Yeah, so tell me, you guys like number four? As much as I like number four, let me know. And it just, they're so dark. I feel like when I put them on that you guys can't see them, but it's me who can't see because they're really dark. And mind you, I said I have one, two, three, four, five lights going right now. All right, here's the sec, the one, two, here's the sixth pair. Yeah, pair number six, Ziploc bag, bubble bag, another Ziploc bag and here are the glasses so these are like the the brown colored ones now let's clean these off a little did I not clean off those yeah I did clean them off I think Let me just give them a little wipe oh yeah I like these too I like them because they're they're just square and they're they're kind of skinny, but not too skinny, not too big. And they're just, again, the clean lines and they're dark. They're nice and dark. And the sides are thin. Those are my, uh, <clears throat> that's, that's my requirement on me liking a, a pair of sunglasses. It's dark, it's black, thin lines, and the sides are thin. So I can use my peripheral vision. And the darkness is real because when I take them off, it's like, wow. But how you guys like these? This is pair one, two, three, four, five. This is pair number six. All right, moving on. All right, here's a pair. Just in one bag, I think, one Ziploc bag. I was looking, because first I was like, uh-oh, I think I got my first duplicate, but no, I don't think so. So let's pull these out. Now this is a bigger, bigger size, like that. Again, they're black. Now these have a little design on the side. Kind of looks like a lipstick, actually, if you do it that way. Get some of the glare off. Oh, it has an M on it. That's probably why I got these. Look at that. I wonder if these are a dupe for something. You know if they are, I would have no idea. But let me clean these off and see what my namesake 
glasses look like. They have an M on it. That has to be why I bought these. Plus they were black, plus they were square. And the sides are thinner than some of the other big bulky ones. So the big more luxury designer ones. But I think that's kind of like a, a design element of a luxurious or like a dupe pair is the side is decorative with something and it's normally pretty thick for that privacy element. Ooh, now these are big. I wish they're so dark. I can't really see super clear, but when I edit this video back, I'll try to indicate in the video in my editing, if I remember to say whether or not I like them. You know, once I can see what you guys are seeing right now, it's very, very dark. But look at the M's on the side. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like these. I like that they're gonna, and out here it's so hot right now and the sun is penetrating. I mean, it's so vibrant and bright. So this is going to really give me a lot of coverage over all of my eye area, making them more comfortable and they're so dark. But yeah, I can deal with these as well. Again, most of the ones I'm gonna show you are going to be black because that's just you know what i'm more comfortable with and i think i look best in the black ones or that's just my preference so this is pair number one two three four five six seven so this is seven so tell me how you guys like pair number seven now let's move on to pair number eight. Oh, that's a piece of jewelry so we put that over there there's a few pieces of jewelry in here as well all right so here's the next one open this one up so this is pair number nine so it comes like this ziplock bag all right so this is a cat eye pair now back in the day i had a pair of cat eye glasses when they first came out this was when i was young young and they were really cool they it was a, a big bigger thing back then than now. Now they've kind of hung around a little bit more and made them more fashionable. But they had little rhinestones across the top or somewhere on the front of it. It wasn't the whole thing covered, but they were pretty doggone cool. I thought I was so cool when I would wear those little cat eye glasses back in the day. I wonder if I still have them somewhere. But um, these reminded me of those. So let's see what's happening with the cat eye. Oh, now that didn't get really clean. Now this is what I was saying. I don't like putting them on and it looks smudgy. It's just that I don't like how that feels. Now, is it them or is it just they're dark like that? Hold on. They just feel really smudgy. Like I can't get them clean. Let me try this one right here. There's another one. Let's see if this does any better. It feels like oily, like, you know, a oil film. When, um, when oil leaves a film on something, that's what it feels like on these when I put them on. Okay, let's try it now. I don't know, it could, it just doesn't, it feels like there's a film on them. Maybe in the daylight they might look better, but for right now, let me see something if I can spotlight this this little white on me a little bit more see that still that did nothing for me that didn't even brighten it up for me let's see if i can turn the light on bright yeah it's it's weird it's like a gray i don't even know how to describe it it looks like a, it feels like there's a film on it now it could be because i'm inside but it's not clear, even though these other ones are dark. Like when I put these on, let me just compare. Cause this one, see how bright it is right now? This one is clear. I wish I could show you. I don't even know how to show you on camera, but this one is crisp and clear, even though it's dark. But when I put these on, it's so, it feels like an oil, a film of oil on them, which I don't like. Almost like if your windows are starting to get fogged up, that's what these look like. They're not crisp and clear at all. So I don't know about, I mean, from what I can see, they're cute. I like them, but I don't like the fact that 
I feel like I have this film on here that I can't get off. So I may have to wash these with some soap and water and hope that that does it. But I also noticed about these that they're not snug, like these are loose. Like when I put all of the other ones on so far, they're snug, like this hugs my face. See, I can do that and they're not moving. Now, when I do this on these, I feel like they're gonna move around a little. Those are very loose. See how they're sliding off? So I don't like that about these and they feel the cheapest out of them all. I wonder how much I paid. I'll find out when I edit, once I pull up all the information. But as far as how they look, they're cute. You know, I could play with them and glue some rhinestones or something on them. But if I can't get this film situation cleared up, then I'm not gonna like these at all. And they, like I say, they feel the cheapest. They're really light. They don't hug my face. See how loose they come off. Like if I wanted to just do this, look at that. I don't like that. I need glasses that when I wear them, I can do this and we're good. You know, that's my thing, even with my little reading glasses. So these so far, I like the least. The look is cute, you know, it's a cute look. I'm curious to see how much I paid for these, but this is pair number nine, I believe. Or no, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is pair number eight. So, so far pair number eight for me, no go. Okay, let's move this over here because we're running out of room. All right, the next pair is, now we got some boxes. One, two, three, four, five boxes. All right, so box. Right there. And then Ziploc. Now these are some of the pair that are bigger on the sides, thicker on the sides. More, they're still sleek. They still have a shape, but it's kind of a sleek shape. I like these. I think I got these in either two or three styles. So let me clean pair number nine off and see what they look like. Now this is black, but I can see from the lens as I'm cleaning it, this is the black to gray, like the gradient uh, lens. It's not just all black. Can you guys tell? It graduates to gray. It doesn't just stay all black. All right, so let's see what number nine looks like. Ooh, I like number nine. Let's see, Let me push them down a little. There's the sides. And nice little detail, not too over exaggerated with a whole lot of big gaudy stuff on the side. Again, I'm always gonna be drawn to skinny, thin, simple, but decorative. And I like the gradient because this one is not so dark, even though it's still dark as I'm looking into the camera to see what they look like, but it's not dark like the other ones. So they will give me a little bit of more light coming through when I'm outside wearing these. But yeah, I like these. They hug nice and firm and snug. They're not too tight, but a comfortable snug. And I like, again, the large size, the semi cat eye look, clean lines. So yeah. So, so far we're doing good. Minus number eight cat eye one. Okay, Let's see what's in this box, another box. All right, I don't wanna keep you here too long because that jewelry part, if we can get to the jewelry, is gonna take a, a lot more time. So this one comes, oh, this is the one um, <clears throat> that has the V on the side. I always thought these was, these was cute. These were cute. This little, again, just simple, a little hint of a design element, um, but not too much and not too, too thick, but it looks kind of sleek on the face. So let's see what these look like. I'm just giving them a good clean. Yeah, that's weird with the cat eye one though. Like those things are so dingy. Okay. All right, this is pair, eight, nine, ten. this is a pair number 10. Ooh, I like it. See, it's just enough, just a hint of something. 
The only thing is I don't have any gold earrings. So I'm actually, I take that back. I take that back. I don't know if I'm gonna have them today uh, in this haul, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I like the little hint of just the design right here, the shape of a V. I like that they're black. Now these aren't as big and that's cool because sometimes you don't need all of that full coverage. You just need a little bit of, a, a little bit of, uh, what's the word I was looking for? That word that makes you sound cool, a little bit of swag. <laughs> a little bit of swag in your look. You don't need the big shebang, but just a little bit. And I like these. These I like. I liked them when I saw them, but the price wasn't what I was ready to pay. So I watched them for a while and they dropped it down and I'm like, it's time to make a move. So yeah, these are cute. I like these. All right, that's number 10. Tell me what you guys think about number 10. Um, 11, 12, 13. So that's all 13 okay another box box number three 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 <laughs> all right i don't know about these this is what it looks like zip lock bag mm, i don't know let's see how these look this is what they look like on the side what made me buy these I think the picture might have looked different when I um, saw them online. Because as I'm looking at them now, now this is a shape that I'm not really crazy about, actually. It's got the clean lines. They're black. There's a black to gray gradient on the lens. But um, as I look at them now, I don't know. It's kind of like how I felt about the brown pair. So let's see, I don't know. Let's see if I like these and how they look. So here we go, there's nothing on the front, they're just black. It's something about this shape. Probably that round element in it, not so much the bottom, but the top part. It gives me, it's like if that was straight across the front, I would like it better. But that round part on the front and then how it comes in, I'm not crazy about right now, but let's see what they look like. Yeah, see these, this number is just, so this is pair number 11. I don't like these as much. Again, it's that, this is this part. So you gotta know what you like and what you don't like. So when you don't like something, you kind of know why. I do like that they're black. Mm. I don't like them. I don't like them. I like the coverage. I don't hate them. Let me just retract, redact that statement. I don't hate them. They're not the worst at all by any means, but these are not a pair that I would be drawn to because of the shape. But I think they're a nice pair of glasses but they're not my preference. So I'm trying to be very clear with my words so I don't confuse you guys. Cause you're like, do you like them or don't you like them? Like, how do you, how do you say that they are a nice pair, but you don't like them, blah, blah, blah. So that's why they're a nice pair of glasses. They give you the full coverage. It's the shape, mainly it's the shape for me. If this was more squared up here, then I would like them better. I don't hate them, but these are definitely, they wouldn't be my go-tos. Okay. so. There you go on that. How you guys like them? Do you guys like them? I'm sure somebody out there probably likes this shape and think these look fine. I'm trying to move fast today because I don't want to be here too long and I don't want to edit forever. So I'm trying to make an effort to get it in and get, get, get to moving. All right, here is the next to the last pair of glasses in this box. So this one, oh, I think these are the other styles of the uh the pair with the the line i'll show you this one remember this style hold on okay so these are the other colors in this style that had the sleek line in this 
And that's one thing I've been forgetting to mention, even though I normally, my go-to is black on black, my uh, flip side of that was always a brown pair. So if there was a pair that I liked that was the black on black style, if they had it in any version of brown, then I would also get that too, because I knew I would like it. So I do like a pair of brown, but I like the pair of brown to wear as a, a substitute style, but you know, not the everyday look that I would with the black one. So here's the brown one. Now, first off, the lenses are much lighter, so I can see a little bit better. But honestly, I don't like them as much as I like the black ones, even though they're the same style. Isn't that interesting? Now, it could be too, because I can't see as clear because it is dark, because I am wearing shades, you know, on camera. So that could be why too, but they're not bad. I like a brown pair of glasses because when I do wear a brown shades, that's when these would come into play. And like I said, I've always done that in the past. If they did have a brown version of a black version that I already liked, then I would get them. So these aren't horrible. Now, let me just recap for you. Where's the black pair of these? Oh, here they are right here. So here's the black pair, pair number nine. Now, let me just interchange. So to me, I think the black ones look better. Now, you might be thinking, girl, you're crazy. They look the same. They're the same <laughs> glasses. But I like these better. It's something just about the black for me and the darkness. Like, you could probably see my eyes because I think this is the one that graduates. Yeah, this is the one that graduates from black to gray. But I just like these better, even though these are the same. So pair number nine. And then pair number 12. They're cool, they're cool. It's just something about the lightness of them though. But in any case, let's move on to the last pair. So that was nine, 10, 11, so this is 12. So pair number 13, what? 13, this is haul number 13 and we had 13 pairs of glasses. I did not plan that, let me make sure. That is funny, I did not plan that. I promise you I did not. It was meant to be for me to haul this. I This is one of the more recent um, orders that I got. I have several more that I have not been able to get to. So it's ironic that I would haul this one and I have 13 pairs of sunglasses and this is haul number 13. Okay, oh sorry, this is the one. Okay, so this is the third style in the same pair as nine and 12. And this is the black on black one. Take a moment. My watch is reminding me to take a moment. I am taking a moment. Taking a moment and spending it with you guys. So here's pair number 13. And of course, it would be a black on black. It would be one where I like the design, the clean lines on the side. A little thicker than I normally would like, but not too, too thick. So let's see. Now we're gonna compare these with number nine with the gradient, the black too. Oh yeah, you can see the difference right off the bat. Let's put this here. Right off the bat, you can see how much darker these are. Let me get number nine and then you can see, you can compare. You can totally see how this graduates from black to gray and then all black. Yeah, these are it. This, I like. Even though it's dark and I can't see that much, I know that I like these. I can see it. It's that darkness. It's that mystique. It's that you don't see me looking at you, but I see you and you don't see me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, these are one of my faves. The only thing, if this could be a little skinnier for driving, then I would drive. I'd be more comfortable driving with these. But um, I still can because they actually are high up enough to wear well, you know, they're not sitting on my ears properly either. So I, I really can't say that. But if they're high enough to where I can see on the side and these things aren't blocking, then I could do it, drive comfortably. Because today people drive like crazy. So here's 13. And then here's number nine. Now you can see the difference in the darkness. 
So this is cool too. I've always liked the black um, gradient to gray, black and gray gradient. What's that other word where they roll into each other? Ah, it skips my mind. I'll put it on the screen. I hate when I'm trying to think of something and it's right there. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the one where the, the colors graduate. Ah, oh, and I know you're yelling it to me right now because that's what I do to other people. It's this. But um, yeah, these do that. <laughs> and then these number nines do that. And then number 13s are just straight black. So yeah, that's cool. I like these. All right, you guys, so that was 13 pairs of sunglasses, and I will share with you my favorites, but let me just get the remaining items from this haul. One, two, three, four, four pieces of jewelry, and then we can close this out. It's been 35 minutes, so maybe I'll stop this one here and do that other bag of jewelry later because that's going to be a whole lot of work. You guys know these jewelry pieces come in this bag, come in this bag. <laughs> you got to figure out how to get them open and then pop them out. And let's see. Okay. Oh, this is a cute, it's called a lotus ring. Now, this is what I hate about jewelry. I can't ever keep it still enough for you guys to really see it. But it's cute. What size is this? It says a size nine. Okay, so let's see. Where's my, I can wear my glasses now that I can see. Okay, that's what this one looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Let me steal my hand. And I like it how, how thin it is. Well, that's pretty. It's called the Lotus Ring, I believe. I'm sure it's on the screen. And it's not too thick and tall and bulky like I can punch somebody's eye out. Yeah, this is nice. I can do this too. Oh yeah, I really like this one. Do you see around the sides how it has a little rhinestone? Oh, hold on. It has little rhinestones around the side. I'll try to get some better pictures with my little studio that I bought um, from Timu. My little photo studio, the little square box one. See if I can get some close-up photos with them on my finger for you. And if I do, I'll pop them on the screen. But this is nice. I like it. I think I'll leave that one on. Okay, and then the next item. Remember I told you that I think I had some, ordered some uh, gold earrings. I said, I don't have any gold earrings. And then I said, oh, wait a minute. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So check out, well, it came in this little Ziploc bag. And... These are cute too. I hope they don't turn on me anytime soon. Look at them. Hold on, okay, there we go. Aren't those cute? And they're nice and light. They're nice and thin though. It looks like, it feels like they could easily break. But I like how shiny and glistening they are. So let me try these on real quick. Oh, I can break, break these. Can't have that now, can we? All right, these are cute. I like them. And they're not too big. I don't like super big stuff. I mean, I can do big every now and then, but not just, that's just not my thing. Now these, as I'm putting them on, you do have to, I feel like you do have to be very careful with these. Aren't those cute? Now, hold on. Because remember, this is when I brought them up earlier. It was because the glasses with the V on the side, pair number 10 with the V. Remember I said, oh, I don't have any gold earrings. Now I do. Look at that. Does it go together? I think they do, even though I can't see it with these dark glasses on. I'm just going to assume that this gold and this gold are welcoming each other and saying, hey, it's nice to meet you. 
these are cute now you guys know i don't do gold i don't have a lot of gold my preference is silver but i wanted to try and get out of that comfort zone and have some gold options and that's what some of i believe maybe not in this next one that i was trying to get to but I do have an order coming where I've ordered more gold pieces so I can have some versatility. But this was the first attempt at introducing some gold and I think this was a great one. It's just this uh, hoop part feels very thin and fragile. But the little bead, the bead feels pretty good quality. So I have some more loop gold ones coming. So if these do break, I can just roll this little, the little beads onto those. But I like those. Wow, okay, so let's put these back. And we've got a bracelet here. So let me take off my Apple Watch. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on. See how it goes with the ring that I'm wearing. And you guys, I hope that the sound quality is okay on this. I notice in my editing, it sounds a lot like I've been mumbling and I don't know why, but I do have a microphone it's right here. Let me finish charging that in my upcoming videos, let me just show you, because I do recognize it as a problem. I've got this little microphone that hooks directly into my phone and I can just put it here and hopefully you guys are gonna get better sound. But I just wanted to point that out because on my last um, video where I did the Gona jewelry that I would love for you to go and watch that video, please, please, please. It's such beautiful jewelry. You just have to see it. And the reason that I'm asking um, is because it's really fine, luxurious and affordable jewelry. And you guys know I wouldn't pass on information or on anything that I thought wasn't worth it. So even though, you know, I'm a bargain hunter through and through, but that's a good deal for what you're getting. It's so reasonably priced. It, it's, it trumps Pandora, even though it's the same thing that Pandora puts out, it's way more affordable. But anyways, I digress. But the reason I said that is when I was watch, uh, recording that video, I could have used this mic because I was so into unboxing it that I was mumbling and I heard myself, I could barely hear what I was saying because I was just so taken aback by the pieces. And I was just like, wow, like you could hardly hear me. So that's what made me go and pull this out. The reason I'm not using it right now is because it wasn't charged and I don't want to put off doing this video because I'm in the zone. So moving forward, if you've been having issues hearing me, I just wanted to give you that heads up. That's gonna be resolved. So this is the item that I just opened. It's a cute, cute, cute little bow bracelet. And it is adjustable like this. Has a little flexibility in there where you can pull these open like that and then slide them back. So it has a little dangler on there. It's nice and thin and light. Now let me see if I can, if I were to wear this, would I do it this way? Or would I do it the way where you could see the dangle? Let's see. And it just slides on and you just close it back like this to whatever you like it to, how you like it to dangle. But that's cute. Look at that with my ring. Very cute, very thin, very affordable. Now this definitely feels like something that's not gonna last long, especially if you get it wet and whatnot. But, you know, just buy those, uh, you know, those things that Timu sells where when you wash your face, they're like wristbands. <laughs> you can put them on so the water doesn't drip. That's what I use when I wanna wash my hands and I'm wearing my little, I don't wanna say cheap bracelets, but when my little fun, let's just say fun, my little fun, bracelets that I don't want to get wet and to, you know, wear sooner than later. I use those when I wash my hands so that I don't have to take them off every single time. So if you haven't ordered a pair of those, get a pair of those, keep them handy. They're small enough so you can keep them in your purse, keep them on you. And then when you do have to wash your hands, at least you can keep the water from uh, hitting your bracelets. 
So I would wear that. I mean, yeah, use those if I was gonna wash my hands with this bracelet if I didn't wanna take it off. But yes, that's very cute. That's very cute, very dainty. You guys know I like my jewelry dainty. If you've watched enough of my hauls, you know that I don't like big bulky stuff. So I can also flip it to where it's this way. Let's see. And then I get to see the dangle on my end. So yeah, this is cute. And again, for the price, it's just a cute, fun look. It's not gonna last forever. But you know, if you want something that's gonna last forever, go watch that jewel, uh, Gona Jewelry video and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so let me take this off and show you the last piece, which is a ring. Actually, I could leave this on. Let me just leave it on. Let's just tighten it up a little so it doesn't dangle too, too much. Okay, so here is the last piece. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and close this video out because I don't want it to be too, too long. And my editing will take forever. All right, so the last piece came in this Ziploc bag. And then it's this Ziploc bag. And then it is a ring. And the ring is... Oh, this is cute. It's a heart ring. Let me see. Trying to be as still as possible. Why am I shaking? <laughs> Why am I shaking? Okay, let me put it on my fingernail. Oh, what size is this? This is a size nine. My ring finger is a size eight, but I've been sizing up so that I can wear it on my ring finger as well as this finger, or I can also, <clears throat> excuse me, I can also wear it on this finger over here. So when I size up to nine, it gives me flexibility on these three fingers right here, this one and these two. So that's why I don't just buy size eight just on this finger because I don't want to wear everything on this finger but look at this it's not too tall it's a little tall but it's it's not too bad and it is a heart it's shiny it's silver just like I like them little white rhinestone but see how much smaller this one is compared to that one and that's why I like this one so much more and it really goes with my thin with the thinness of my bracelet this would go great with my cross one too that i hauled in my last video but yeah so that's the ring so that's everything in this haul so let's go ahead and do a quick recap and then i can get you out of here and i can go on with my life and then i will do the other jewelry one just separate because that little bag looks small but trust me there's a lot in there um so recap, we started off with pair glasses number one, and I'm just going to go through them really quick. So you tell me which ones you like. That's pair number one. Oh, and on the side was the three dots. Nothing on the front, and they're pretty thick. Well, they're not thick, but thicker than some of the others. So pair number two, these are the mirror ones. This looks like a ski pair of glasses. So I like that one, nothing on the side, just thin lines, clean lines. I like how it connects like a pair of goggles. I really, I thought I got a pair of those in black, but maybe I wanted to test those out first. Here's pair number three. These are the brown ones that I think look like too buggy for me, too, too circular, too buggy. Pair number three. So you guys might like it. Pair number three also came with this detail on the side. Flowers, roses. Okay. Pair number four. Surprisingly, I like these. I don't normally do different colors, especially lighter colors like this. And I do believe they had like pink, red. I had like some different wild colors in these glasses. I know they probably had a, a pair of white as well but um, I actually like these. I tried to stay more in the brown family, the tan, you know, chocolate kind of family. All right, pair number five. These had nothing special other than the shape that I liked a lot. 
I really like this shape. They're sleek. They're like a cool cat eye, but not the, the real triangle, triangular angle of the cat eye. I'm trying to make sure I'm saying the right words. The triangular shape of the cat eyes. I don't have it real sharp, but they got it in there real cool. So, you know, you gotta look cool in your sunglasses or else why buy them? Okay, now this is pair number six. And six was a black pair of the brown ones I just put on. So six, five, so pair six and pair four are the same glasses, but these are them in black. I like them in black a lot. I'm always gonna be drawn to that black on black. I like them. Gotta make sure Janae don't try to come wear my stuff. I hear creeping in here now. All right, pair number seven. Now these were one of my faves and I really, I didn't even realize it had that M on there or either I did and I forgot, but I, that had to be what sold me on these on top of the fact that they look amazing. They're black on black and they're big coverage and they're not too thick on the side and they'll give me enough height away from my eye so I can still use my peripheral. So this is pair number seven. Okay, pair number eight was these, I wanna say these hideous cat eyes, these fuzzy, I just, these things are so dull and grainy. I can't even read my sign in the back. Where is it? Right here, my words on my sign. I can't even read those, they're not even clear. I don't know what's wrong with these, but I'm gonna see if I wash them with some soap and water, if that'll make the difference. But again, as far as the look, they're, they're a cute glass, I mean, a cute design and a cute style. But again, they're loose, they're light, they don't hug, they, they're not snug. So I don't like that about them. So that was pair number eight. That's the one that I like the least out of them all. Pair number nine, these are the, I still can't think of the word where, Janaya, what's the word when you have different colors, like four colors in the same family and they graduate into each other? Gradient? No, not gradient. That's the one that I use. Ombre, Ombre effect. There you go. See, you always have to have a youngster around. They know everything. <laughs> Yes, thank you. That ombre effect. It goes from black to gray. And I like these, the, the thin line. Um, yeah, these are cool. These are cool. And they kind of look more designer because they have this on the side, but it's thin. It's not too gaudy, not too big and gaudy. So that's number nine. Number 10. Now these are my V's. Now these are the ones that are gonna go with these cute little gold earrings. These two are gonna marry well. But I like that V, I like the little cool swag right here of these glasses, cause they're short and they're thin. And then that little V, just, just a little tap of some design element, just enough to bring some color into it, to break up that black on black. So I look like I'm in Hollywood right now, right? Look at the bling bling of the earring. They don't know that this is all a look that's under $4. <laughs> All right, so that was eight, nine, 10, so 11. These are the ones I didn't like so much, and it's because of the shape. They're not horrible, but this part makes me not like it. The size is big. Maybe even if they went all the way across like that, they would, I would like them better, but just this curvature part, you know, I'm not, I'm not down with the round, so, but somebody out there will like these. I'll find somebody who will like them. Um, but yeah, that's pair number eight, nine, 11. Pair number 12 is the brown pair of the ombre pair that I just took off. These are cool. Um, come on, man. And these also go with the earrings as well. Brown and gold definitely go well together. So I could wear these earrings with this um, pair of glasses. And they aren't bad. I just think the color of stuff that I'm wearing right now is not blending well with these. So, but yeah, I like them. They have that design element. They have that elegance to them and they're very well made and they're snug and all of that. And then the final pair, lucky number 13, is of course, black on black, luxury design. It's got the clean, sleek shape, even though they're not all 
square. The way they did the shape, it makes sense. There's not a lot of round to it. I got the corner here, straight line. And this, this round doesn't bother me, but it's up here. If it's too much round in there, I don't like it. So this is the, uh, this is the one, the perfect one to end out haul number 13 in my sunglasses. Is This is pair number 13 that is who I am. It's the epitome of what I like. In addition to number seven. So if I had to pick favorites, there's quite a few actually, but if you said, Mickey, you got to pick one and I won't hurt you. <laughs> then which one would I pick? That is hard. That is hard. But I'd have to go with these because they have the M on the side. But it's a hard, that's a hard decision to make because these are cool. I like, I mean, there's so many that I like. But um, if I had to go, how about my top three? This would be number one. And then number two would be these. Okay. And then number three would be, I think these, and that's pair number two. I like these. Okay. But I like them all except for number eight. I, that, I don't know what's going on with number eight and that oily film. And then uh, 13, 12, and then 11, just the shape of this, not too much of a favorite, but other than that, oh, and then number three, the bug eyes. <laughs> Not feeling those. But all right, you guys. So these are my sunglasses. Oh, recap. And then just again, quickly to recap, the lotus ring, the heart ring, the bow bracelet. And you already saw these cute, cute gold earrings with the little you know these are like a dupe for pandora earrings and also gona jewelry that video i just did they have earrings like this as well that are real sterling silver and i believe you can get them in rose gold silver and gold so you know but the real deal so that's all i have for you guys today if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe only if you like my videos. I'd love to have you here. You're always welcome. Um, I try to put out a Timu video at least once a week. Let, let it marinate because there's always so much to see in them. I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to see and possibly try and get this stuff if they're interested in it. The prices are amazing. Um, <clears throat> don't forget my discount code where you can save 30% off is OPT43129. It's always across the screen somewhere as I'm talking. And if you haven't heard of Timu yet, it is an online marketplace where there are lots and lots of sellers selling, some of them selling the same items, some of them selling different items, all of them fluctuating prices from week to week to day to day. There are lightning deals every day. So if you really want to get a good price on this, just kind of monitor the site, throw it in your cart, and then just hold it there. And sometimes they offer you a discount on them, or you may just find a cheaper price as you scroll through. So it's kind of interactive. It's kind of fun. So I'm not going to go on and on and on and say the same thing that I say every video, but leave any comments or questions that you might have about the site. If not, I'll see you in the video. Again, give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. You guys have a great day. Stay cool out there and I will see you all in the next video. And thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.